Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you guys all had a fantastic Christmas and holidays. Appreciate you stopping by the video here today. Over the past few days, sort of in between the holidays, if you will, we actually saw a handful of mini updates go live between Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2, and DMZ. We now actually have some new information on some sort of stealth updates or secret changes that did go live over the past couple of days, alongside a handful of new updates and new fixes and new issues that Infinity Ward and Raven are looking into. Some pretty important ones when it comes down to it as well. So jumping right in, uh, this is actually all stemming from Infinity Ward's Trello board they've gone through and updated a ton of new stuff here so we actually have a few new issues that are marked as resolved this means that they actually had some mini updates or some stealth updates i'm sure you might have noticed that a handful of times over the past couple of days you logged on to the game and you got the update requires restart or maybe on pc you noticed that you know on battle.net or on steam there was like a small like 300 meg update or something like that that's usually where we get some changes like these. They don't go like and post a full on patch note update over on Twitter or anything because it was more of a hot fix update that resolved one specific thing or something like that. But here we got a couple of new things that are resolved and the fixes are now live. So for one, the bomb drone field upgrade is now actually back. Uh, initially, it was removed from the game entirely and disabled in game entirely because it was causing a ton of different crashing and freezing issues. There would be issues in Warzone where basically anyone in the general vicinity of a bomb drone would end up crashing. If you were on PC, it would sometimes blue screen your entire game. In multiplayer, if you pulled it out, the same thing could happen. So the bomb drone was the problem with a lot of crashing in game. They did, however, find a way for it to not cause those issues. So the bomb drone has been re-enabled across the board so you will be able to find that obviously uh in war zone you might want to keep yourself very ready to hear that voiceover of you know enemy bomb drone inbound because it will absolutely obliterate you and your squad if it's anywhere near you so just keep your eyes and ears peeled for that in game uh for sure there was also an issue with the social showcase as well in the menu where they actually disabled the entire player showcase because there were issues where you could copy and paste your loadouts there and people were cheesing orion camo for free Hey man, I put in way too many hours and was losing my mind getting Riot Shield, uh, you know, streaks and whatnot. I earned that Orion camo. These like L3, R3, up, down, up, down, A, B cheats to get it off the menu. I ain't about it, but they did actually end up fixing that. So now you can't copy things off of a showcase. So the player showcase is now completely back and alive as well. Uh, you guys might recall that a few days back, we also talked about a new issue that Infinity Ward posted on their Twitter saying, hey, we're aware of a lot of issues going on with mastery camos and how they are not tracking or unlocking for certain criteria, even though you definitely have it completed. And they actually expand on this more within their Trello board update here. And they say that a fix is in progress for this, which means likely this is going to be one that is fixed here uh, very, very soon, just shortly after they would return from break, I imagine. And here they say we are in investigating an issue where some players cannot acquire additional camos in gold platinum and polyatomic tiers if they have already acquired enough camos to unlock the next tier for example if you have 51 platinum camos you are unable to earn additional platinum camos because 51 is the number you need to unlock polyatomic so basically the dlc weapons being added in has completely screwed up the way that some of this camo tracking is working for unlocking new tiers and continuing to gain progress on other weapons that you might be wanting to uh, finish off because you skipped them previously or something. So there's a lot of issues going on here. Of course, they're always looking into the camo tracking as well, based off of other previous tweets with how, uh, you know, gold camo might say five out of six complete, even though you have all six complete different criteria like that is being investigated right now and again as mentioned the fix is in progress for this so hopefully we see some changes there asap also just a quick reminder as we are going through all these new updates and changes here if you guys are new to the channel every day i'm your one-stop shop for everything you need to know between dmz warzone 2 and mw2 so if you want to guarantee you're always up to date right as things are happening feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications also if you guys enjoy this video let me know by dropping a like on it as well let's try and aim for 2,000 likes on this one and with new year's coming up i'm sure you've got some resolutions in mind how about starting your year off right with gamer advantage getting your eyes right of course you're probably gaming obviously if you're watching the channel you are a fan of call of duty or you play call of duty a lot you might be working or doing school looking at screens for long periods of time on top of that if you are looking at screens all day long you gotta get yourself a pair of gamer advantage glasses if you have not already 
These things are going to reduce your headaches. I, for one, noticed a very big difference right away when I started wearing my Gamer Advantage glasses. I've always gotten headaches all throughout my life, especially when I looked at screens for, you know, if I'm grinding camos when the new game is out or if I'm editing, making content. These glasses completely change that. They reduce eye strain. They help you sleep better at night. They are game changers. All right. So if you ever want to pick up a pair for yourself, code immortal gets you a nice little discount at checkout. And the link for that will be down in the description below. Anyway, another fix that's actually going to be coming up here again, probably just after the holiday break is concluded for the devs is an issue where you actually can lose your frame rate if you are changing attachments in the middle of a kill cam. So say in game, you are adjusting your 74U and somebody kills you and a kill cam starts playing in the background as you're editing that attachment setup on your 74U it'll destroy your frames so they actually have found a fix for this and it's coming in a future update so we'll have to be on the lookout for that and then another small issue that they have actually released a new update for is that on playstation 5 there was this whole disc required error that players were getting so they have gone through and released an update for that so you shouldn't be experiencing that anymore going forward and then to close things out for this one they actually updated their dmz known issues quite a bit this is the most that we've ever had in the dmz section alone admittedly i don't think the dmz communication has been incredible so far there's been a lot of focus on battle royale and multiplayer dmz does have several issues and there hasn't been much going on there but we do finally have uh, a handful of issues now listed here so they are aware of an issue where loadout and equipped items do not load into a match with a player but are back on soldier after the match so this is essentially when you intend to bring certain things into your game and then they just don't come into the match with you however you don't actually lose these items it's not like you died and lost your stuff like your insured weapon per se this is just a straight up issue of like certain items and equipment showing up in your menu but not in game but they're not being removed so at least they're not being removed but obviously if you're trying to access certain things with key cards or you want to bring in certain equipment that is something that is uh, drastic to core gameplay so hopefully that one is fixed here soon they're also however aware of an issue where the insured weapons are not equipping when loading into a match and this is an issue that can actually mess you up big time because sometimes if your insured weapon doesn't load in you uh you know exfil or you die and then it deletes your insured weapon time and you got that two hour countdown yet again sometimes that happens sometimes that doesn't either way it is a very big problem because obviously that's like the main component of dmz is having your insured weapon if you're doing certain challenges where you know you have to have a weapon you can trust uh they're also aware of a tack map bug in building 21 where it doesn't show up correctly and we've actually got some very interesting stuff to talk about with the tack map in building 21 coming up in a future video so stay tuned for that you're not going to want to miss that one uh, they are also aware of an issue that kicks some party members out after a successful exfil as well so just some simple ui stuff there with the party uh exfilling together all in all though handful of new fixes that are already live in game and some very big ones getting worked on here for some future updates as well solid stuff all around in my opinion as we start to see any other new updates go live once the devs are back from break you guys already know i got you covered with the latest patch notes secret changes whenever i can find those everything like that so be sure to hit that subscribe button turn on those post notifications that way you can always guarantee you know when i post a new video and if you guys enjoyed this one let me know by dropping a like on it as well but that is gonna wrap things up for this one once again thank you so much for tuning in and until next time take it easy have an awesome rest of your day and i'll catch you guys later peace out